What happens when a father has a son in the house and there's strife with another son? I say to him, my son, do you know how much I love you? The same way I love you is the way I love this son of mine. And I want you to understand how great my love for him is. And I want you to enter into the love I have for him so that you can love your brother. Do you see? It happens. It's not just me and Jesus. It's not just me and Jesus. God is establishing, here it is, a nation. A nation. And this is what God is doing in the earth. He is building, He's establishing a nation. How do you start a nation? How do you start a nation? You have sons. And God gave a model of, just so that we can conceive. Because the world can't understand God the Father who is spirit and the Son who is in heaven being one. How, do, how does the world understand many in one? What one picture can God give the world to understand many in one? A nation. A nation. And so God uses this picture, and even Israel, He used as a pattern, as a type, as a picture. And there are 12 sons. 12 sons. And what do those sons do? They have families. And those families have fathers in the house. Do you see that? And that father rules in the house. It's God's order. It's a way authority will function. It will always function through fathers in the house, bringing the order. Why? Because they will represent and point to our Heavenly Father. So a father rules well in the house. That father's sons becomes fathers, right? The father's sons become fathers. What do we have now? A house. Do you see? First we had a family, but when the father's sons become fathers, three generations, you see that? Now we have a house. Now we have a house. And so the nation of Israel had families that belonged to households. And when those households grew, they established in an area, in a domain, authority which are clans. Not K clans with a K. Ku Klux Klans, <laughs> clans of the sea. And clans would not just rule now in a house, but in a domain. Do you understand? And those clans formed tribes. And those tribes made up a nation. And you see, the basic element in all of this is fathers raising up sons to maturity. And when you rule well in your family, your sons start ruling well, and you are then a father of a house. So, in essence, let me ask, how many of you are spiritual fathers? If you... If you say, I'm a spiritual father, I'm raising up spiritual sons to maturity, stand up, just stand up if you say you're a spiritual father. Is this embarrassing? Sorry. Didn't mean to embarrass you. Just want to say, okay. So if you say, I'm a spiritual father, I'm raising up spiritual sons to maturity. Okay. So, as God, not all of you, I'm not, you, don't, you can stand. I'm not saying you have to be, but 
if you are planted in this, in this congregation, let's call it that, right? You recognize already that God has, has placed me here as a spiritual father, right? And you recognize that. So, in essence, you spiritual fathers raising up spiritual sons, that's like families, right? And because you're placed in this house where God has called, called me to be a spiritual father, that makes this a household. Do you understand? And so we operate as a spiritual household raising spiritual sons. Okay, you can be seated. Now, when those spiritual fathers of households are part of other spiritual fathers of households, they should be making up the elders at the gates. Do you understand? So this has not got to do with appointing. It's not got to do with someone's being appointed. This has got to do with raising up spiritual sons and how God establishes a nation. And we're not seeing it today. But we get to see God establishing elders in the city that watch over the city gates because they rule their house well. Do you understand? And God is establishing in the earth. I'm going to wrap up with this. Just look, let's look at Revelation 5 verse 9. See what Jesus did. Jesus says, You were slain. And with your blood, you purchased for God. This is awesome. What is he doing? He's doing that which was already completed in heaven. And God already determined to have a house in the earth. To establish a nation in the earth that would be the sons of God ruling in the earth. Let's look at it. He purchased for God from every nation, from tribes, from languages, from peoples and nations. Do you see it? From, but made them into a kingdom, a nation, a holy nation of priests to serve our God. And that holy nation, we can go to Peter and read the you are a holy nation, a royal priesthood. That holy nation, God has determined, will reign on the earth. And so, that is what God is doing in the earth. If you wondered, what are the seasons that are coming? You've been talking about how to prepare it and all. We've actually been talking about it all for the last two years. And we'll continue to... to to soak into this, to understand God, you are raising up in the earth a nation, a holy nation. And the world will understand how the many are one when they see a holy nation. And we'll look through those scriptures again, which the Lord will raise up this nation as a mountain above all the other mountains in the earth. And all the other nations, it says, will stream to that nation, like a city on the hill, they will stream to the holy nation and say, we don't know how to have people from every tribes and nations living together in harmony, but we see in the nation of God, Jew and Gentile are brothers. They don't have rumors of wars. They don't have, they, 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 their swords are now plowsheds and they are productive and producing in the earth. Teach us his ways. Go and read it, Isaiah 4, Habakkuk, Habakkuk 4. Go and read it. That is what God is doing. He's raising a nation, and how he does it is by establishing fathers that raise up sons to maturity. It is the ministry of reconciliation. And God is causing us to come to maturity so that we, as the body of Christ, as the holy nation, will in its appointed time rule in the earth because that's what God has determined. 